It's no secret that being trained by Abby Lee Miller is no piece of cake, but according to her previous dancers, some of Abby's teaching methods are simply unforgivable. Even the sweet and talented Mackenzie Ziegler has stopped talking to her former dance coach. And after hearing why, we can't say we really blame her. We don't know about you, but we were totally shocked when Abby and Kenzie both showed up at JoJo Siwa's Sweet 16. Keep watching to find out what happened. Sometimes people change their mind though. To say that Abby Lee Miller and Mackenzie Ziegler have history would be an understatement. But despite their current relationship, there wasn't always trouble in paradise. In fact, some might even say that Kenzie and her former dance teacher share a very special bond. It's clear that no matter what, these two will always appreciate and respect each other, which is something to applaud. Dance Moms began airing on Lifetime back in 2011, and Mackenzie was only six years old when she started filming for the reality TV show. Kenzie and her older sister, Matt Maddie Ziegler spent six years of their lives dancing it up on Dance Moms, and they were incredibly talented, to say the least. So it comes as no surprise that they both caught Abby's attention and adoration. But Abby's love for the girls didn't start in season one. It started much earlier than that. In fact, Abby first started teaching Kenzie how to dance when she was only two years old. So as far as we know, they've got some serious family vibes going on between them. And it's perfectly normal to bump heads with those closest to us during stressful periods in our lives. And let's face it, there's nothing more stressful and dramatic than being on the set of Dance Moms. So let's cut these drama Drama Queen some slack. We only know what Dance Moms wants us to know, and that's sort of the problem. When we were first introduced to Melissa and the Ziegler sisters, we were under the impression that they didn't know Abby all that much. These are my two daughters, Maddie and Mackenzie. But in reality, the Zieglers and the Millers go way back. Kurt Ziegler and Abby Lee Miller were friends from high school. Kurt made the decision to divorce Melissa in 2011 when Dance Moms first aired. He claimed that his wife's hectic dance schedule was tumultuous in their relationship. And since he and Abby were still friends, this no doubt impacted her relationship with Melissa. So it's safe to say that everyone, the children included, had a lot on their minds. To top it all off, Melissa was working at Abby's studio to help pay her kids' tuition, which just added fuel to the fire. Abby, who was more of an aunt figure than a dance teacher, always favored Maddie over her other dancers, which hurt Melissa and Kenzie's feelings. So after six long years of filming the popular show, Melissa and her girls chose to call it quits. Fans have speculated why the Zieglers severed ties with Abby, but the truth is there is no one reason, but rather a collection of instances that caused their once strong relationship to waver. Dance Moms fans will never forget Season 6, Episode 15, which is when Melissa announced that she was leaving the Abby Lee Dance Company and taking both her girls with her. This came as a total shock, but no one was more surprised than Mackenzie, who had no idea what her mother had been planning. She was obviously hurt by the news. After all, the ALDC was all she knew, and she'd be leaving her best friends behind. All of the girls are like my best friends. But it didn't take long for the Ziegler sisters to realize that their mother had made a calculated move. Melissa broke the news to the world on April 12, 2016, and just three months later, Abby would plead guilty to felony bankruptcy fraud and soon serve a one-year sentence in federal prison. Although she was released early, her sentence confirmed what some Dance Moms fans already knew. Something suspicious was going on behind the scenes. The Zieglers chose to keep their distance while Abby Lee was being scrutinized by the courts, which led to Mackenzie cutting contact with Abby. But if there's one thing that helped Mackenzie make her decision, it's how Abby Lee's influence negatively impacted her musical career. But more on that later. When we hear the word fighter, we automatically think of Abby Lee Miller. Sorry about that, Christina Aguilera. The renowned dance coach has never been one to stand down when the going gets rough, which is why it comes as no surprise that season 8 of Dance Moms is set to air on June 2019. You would think that 8 months in jail and a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer diagnosis would prevent Abby from saving grace. But that's just not her style. Abby's health issues caused her former dance students to reach out and send their love and support. But Dance Moms fans couldn't help but notice that the Zieglers weren't at the front line. Both Maddie and Mackenzie gave their support from afar and only had good things to say about their former dance coach. During an interview with US Weekly, Mackenzie was asked if she and Miller still keep in touch. And the dancer said, not really but I wish her the best, and she's awesome. However, prior to this statement, Mackenzie interviewed with Dance Facts and revealed that sometimes 
Like, I wish I was never on that show. Because of how much stress and drama Abby inflicted upon her. Hearing these sorts of things is probably what causes Abby to lash out in anger. So despite saying kind words about Mackenzie from time to time, Abby didn't hesitate to ridicule her Dancing with the Stars contemporary performance on Instagram. Although we weren't surprised by Abby's actions, Kenzie was only 14 years old at the time, and picking on young teens isn't a nice thing to do. If you help someone accomplish something great, it's customary for you to tell them that you're proud of them. However, this just isn't Abby Lee Miller's forte. Instead of praising the Ziegler sisters for their obvious talents and unbeatable dedication, Abby chooses to say that they owe her their success. Now let's not get things twisted. It's obvious that without the ALDC, the Ziegler sisters wouldn't have their big breaks, but that doesn't take away from how hard they worked to get on top. So after hearing Abby take credit for their success time and time again, it's only normal that Mackenzie chose to sever ties with Abby. During the dance mom's Abby Lee Tells All special, the dance coach revealed that she was disappointed over the fact that she wasn't able to share in the Ziegler sisters' post-show success. She went on to say that she confidently believes that the sisters wouldn't be where they are today if it weren't for her. Before finishing her statement, Abby also said that there were more good times than bad times. I hope that she doesn't forget the good times. By now, we all know that Abby favored Maddie over everyone else, which led her to compare everyone to her number one pupil, Kenzie included. So we're not so surprised that Kenzie is keeping her distance and feeling happier than ever. We previously mentioned that Abby Lee Miller is basically Mackenzie and Maddie's aunt, and who wants their pesky aunt commenting on their social media posts? No one, that's who. Mackenzie made the decision to block Abby on Instagram in 2017, and Abby was completely shocked when she found out. While posting a throwback pic of the girls on Instagram, Abby realized that she couldn't tag Mackenzie in the picture and totally freaked. She'd been blocked, but when you think about it, it was a long time coming. Abby Lee's comments get a lot of views, and she's not one to leave happy and supportive posts. And seeing as Mackenzie is growing up and trying to be her own person, the last thing she needs is for Abby to ridicule her online. Whether Melissa had a hand in this is up for debate. But for the most part, it looks like then 12-year-old Kenzie wanted to break free from Abby's chains. Although it might seem childish, blocking someone on Instagram is a pretty big deal, especially when you've known them for your entire life. But then again, receiving antagonizing comments from someone who once caused you a lot of stress and insecurity isn't exactly optimal. Sorry, Abby Lee, you've been shunned. Nothing will break up a lifelong friendship and mentorship like a good old-fashioned lawsuit. Yes, we're talking about Mackenzie's musical battle against Kismeth Music and its frontman, Andrew Logan. It's no secret that Kenzie is a talented singer who aspires to become a popular artist, and she's well on her way. But unfortunately, Abby Lee Miller's guidance sort of put a damper on Kenzie's rise to fame. Kenzie and I are in Los Angeles to record her first single. In 2017, Mackenzie Ziegler was sued by Kismeth Music for allegedly breaking her contract by working with another producer. However, the Zieglers fired back with a lawsuit of their own, stating that they were strong-armed by Abby Lee Miller into signing the contract. According to to Melissa, the only reason Mackenzie signed their contract was that Abby convinced them that Andrew Logan was the real deal. However, her promises fell flat and Logan seriously underpaid the teen for her music. So where was Abby during this lawsuit? Well, she was in jail, minding her own business. So it's easy to see why the Zieglers had little sympathy for Abby during her time behind bars. Because, well, she was still causing them problems despite being in a cell. You can run, but you can't hide from Abby Lee Miller. We're looking at you, Mackenzie Zieglers. How many of you remember the vaping incident of 2018? Well, we for one have yet to forget about it. Vaping is an addictive pastime that isn't recommended for teens, so we totally agree that Mackenzie shouldn't have been vaping on camera in front of her many fans. However, Mackenzie did go on to say that she wasn't actually vaping, she was using a mong, which is a water vapor mixed with essential oils. Mackenzie was only 13 years old at the time and simply pulling a little stunt on her fans, yet somehow Abby Lee Miller managed to comment on the post. And keep in mind that Abby was actually in jail at this point. Mackenzie has her own clothing line with Justice, so Abby attempted to tag the clothing brand saying, do you sell vapes now? This shade didn't go unnoticed and Kenzie fans quickly defended the dancer. They were quick to point out that someone who is in jail shouldn't be giving anyone advice. Still, this sort of comment is something teenagers should expect from older figures who care about their health. But at this point, Kenzie just doesn't want Abby's opinions whatsoever. Hence why she blocked her in the first place.
The adorable Jojo Siwa has a very different relationship with Abby Lee Miller than the Ziegler sisters do. Do you see how she was trying to sell that song to somebody? So we weren't surprised that Abby Lee Miller received an invitation to JoJo's Sweet 16 birthday bash. The party took place in April 2019 at the W Hollywood in Los Angeles. JoJo chose to throw her birthday party in April instead of May, which is when her actual birthday takes place. Fans weren't shocked when Abby Lee made her grand appearance. However, they were sort of surprised to find out that Mackenzie Ziegler was also in attendance. Since Abby and Kenzie aren't on speaking terms, we couldn't believe our eyes. Both parties kept things cool throughout the evening. So despite not keeping in contact, it's clear that Kenzie and Abby aren't opposed to seeing each other if need be. This is super mature of them, especially since refusing to show up to JoJo's party would only hurt JoJo in the end. So does this mean that Kenzie might one day forgive her former dance coach or put herself in a scenario where she's forced to have a conversation with her? Only time will tell. Ever since Mackenzie left Dance Moms, her success has skyrocketed. She seems happier, healthier, and more comfortable in her own skin. She wrote a self-help book titled Kenzie's Rules for Life, designed a fashion line with justice, and released some pretty awesome music videos. Things are going great for Kenzie, who's turning 15 on June 4th, 2019, which is coincidentally the premiere date for Dance Moms Season 8. The world is her oyster, and she'll be damned if Abby Lee Miller gets in her way. Although we can't deny that Abby has helped Kenzie in her path to stardom, Kenzie is moving on with her life and becoming her own person. She's still young and has time to form new opinions, so it's possible that she will one day rekindle her relationship with Abby Lee Miller. That is, if Abby is willing to treat her as an equal and not a student. Do you guys think Abby and Kenzie will be friends again, or did that ship sail a long time ago? Let us know in the comments section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love Dance Moms, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching the things. We'll see you soon.